What the hell are you doing here? Showing prospective buyers around. Oh, around my apartment? Charlotte's apartment, which is for sale. But you said that I, I said it. I would talk details with you tomorrow. Not that you could have the apartment, and certainly not right away. Well, that was unclear. I'm so sorry about this bit of confusion. We have other properties you might be interested in. This one's pretty good. The spa jets are excellent. Really hit the spot. I'll see you out. Oh, we just messed up big time. Nah, she'll calm down. What, you reckon? This is just how we roll. If I screw up, Bernie goes ballistic, I grovel, and she forgives me. Yeah, but what if you're running out of chances? Babe, I'm like a gamer. I've got infinite lives. Yeah, she can't complain now. Oh, good as new. Oh, you know, you never even know we were here. Mum would be proud. The place is spotless. Yeah, ready to mess up again. Hey, how did it go with the buyers? Look, I'm really sorry. It was a genuine mistake. You got drunk and high and the rest by accident? I meant the apartment. Yeah, look, we're really sorry. We've, we've... You think I'm a fool? What not? Talking up Theodora like that, pretending she's got a head on her shoulders, while all the while you're just her stoner boyfriend. Hang on, she has got a head on her shoulders. Don't have a go at him. Oh, don't worry. My disappointment is centered squarely on you. I messed up, I'm sorry. Yes, you did. Let me make it up. How many chances do you think you deserve, Theodora? Mum, I honestly thought... I stuck my neck out for you. Told your father that I thought you were really changing. That we could trust you this time. Be proud of you. And then you do this. You can still be proud of me. Not after today. We weren't going to give you this apartment. So you were lying your to me? Your dad thought you deserved to be out of Charlotte's shadow. We were going to buy you another one. One just for you. Really? But you blew it. Just like I knew you would. We don't need an apartment to have fun in. We can do it anywhere. Yeah, I was there. Remember? Oh, I remember. I saw your face. How hurt you were. It's nothing new. I can handle it. Seriously, it's been like this my whole life. Brother and sister, our golden kids. Never put a foot wrong, and the sun shines out of you know where. And I'm the weirder underachiever. And frankly, I like it like that. It's actually quite liberating when your parents have such low expectations of you. Dude, don't look at me like that. My family isn't like yours. Yeah, you've still got two parents who are alive. Okay, you do not get to do that. I play the dead dad card. Yes, I do. <sighs> Happy families just isn't a thing. But it could be. So what? You reckon I just play nice and pretend to be the good daughter and I'll get the apartment back? No, don't do it for the apartment and don't pretend. I'm not the good daughter. Not in their eyes. Just be honest. Tell them how you feel. And get hurt again. Or come out of it with the happy family thing going. I can highly recommend it. It's Tuesday on 2. About yesterday. I was disrespectful and irresponsible, and I'm really sorry. You're angling to get the apartment back? No. I want to talk about our relationship as a family. Suppose you think there's something wrong with it? When I'm made to feel second best, third best... Yeah, there is. I can never live up to Charlie and Jen Yu. Don't be jealous of their achievements. I'm not. But I have my own achievements that you never recognise. That's not true. You think I drive a van. I drive an ambulance. I save lives. I help people every day. Does that mean nothing to you? Of course it does. And I know that you don't approve of my relationships, but I love, and I've been loved, and that's an achievement too. I suppose. So can you please just tell me just once that you love me and that you, you're proud of me and not dismiss it or justify it and somehow manage to make me feel like crap? You think I don't love you? It sometimes feels that way. You feel we've failed you. We haven't treated you well. I'm just trying to be honest. And thank you for that. But petulant children throwing tantrums don't get to dictate how this family operates. What? Your father and I have worked and sacrificed for the good of this family, for all our children. 
But somehow, that means nothing to you. Hey, that's Our not achievements what I... are worth nothing to you. Hang on, that's not what I mean. You've I'm made just... yourself very clear. You have another family now in that scruffy flat, and they matter more to you. Fine. If that's how you want it. I bring pizza and beer. Just ignore me, I'm not here. I'm just having a quick change before dinner. Yeah, you know, I find my um, work guard doesn't really scream gal about town, you know? Well, okay, maybe later. Well, it is a triple date, so with all the toing and froing and P's and Q's, who knows how late it'll be. Soz. Oh, right. How's that? A bit better? A bit more sort of, I'm off the chirps, but I'm fun, sexy, and I'm not afraid to listen to your emotions? You look great. Oh, thanks. Right, ciao. Mum, hey. I didn't mean for things to get so out of hand. I know we're different, but it doesn't mean I don't love you, and I still want to be a part of this family, so please call me back, okay? Please. Well, Barry, looks like it's just me and you.